Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back again for our second Beyond Dressing Well Facebook Live of 2022. It is so great to see so many of you again. Last week was an amazing event. We probably had the most views of the video that we've ever had. So thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and sharing with your friends. But we did the uh, replay on our YouTube channel. And I think what I've decided is that people are just craving intentions and goals. I think people are very excited for 2022. I know that I am a big goal setter. I think I share with you on, I know I share with you on uh, last week's program how giddy I get with, with my new planner and my pencil. But I remember last year being excited about 2021 but still nervous. And this year feeling like I've really just got to take this I just got to get more under control. I need to make some intentions and make things happen because so many things are no longer in our control. So um, thank you all again so much for, for turning out last week and we were just delighted with uh, the turnout. So before we dive into our program tonight, I feel like so much has happened since I last saw you and I'm going to cover as many things as I can tonight. Um, but I just wanted to share a few announcements at the top of the hour. So hello, Lisa Marvis. Hello, Lisa Duncan. Hello, Diane Webster. I see all of you guys poking on in here. Welcome. Um, so the first thing is I was in Miami over the weekend. It was my husband's birthday. My husband's birthday is actually tonight. My son John is cooking him dinner. So when I get off the live, I'm going to sit down with two of my favorite guys and have dinner. Tim is not here tonight. Tim's at the Bruins, but he made, he made his dad breakfast today. So I just have the nicest kids, but I'm going to have John, both of my boys love to cook. They do not get that from me. They get that from their dad. Is in the kitchen right now. I'm looking at him. Uh, and he is making us dinner. So first off, happy birthday to my husband. And I was very fortunate. Hello, Phyllis Ward. I was very fortunate to be able to go to Miami. We were invited to the Miami Patriots game. So we made a birthday weekend out of it. And it was just so delightful to have the sun on my face to really check out. But I was also excited to come home. I had a couple friends texting me saying, oh, can you believe you're coming back to, to Boston in this frigid weather? But we kicked off our Thrive group on Tuesday and I honestly could not get wait, wait to get home to launch that program. We had last got together in November when we went on a treat and for those that, 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 that don't know about our Thrive program, we launched it as a pilot last year. It's comprised of this year 12, we had 11 last year, we're up to 12 this year, uh, senior executive clients that come together to just go on a journey of professional development, personal development, self-care, networking, giving back, all the things that our brand has represented in the marketplace for a long time. But even Miami was less exciting to me than coming home and being with this win these women. I spent a lot of time over break. I did check out. I took a social media break. But I spent a lot of time journaling, and I think the gift of Thrive for me is preparing for them. We do a lot of mindset. We do a lot of journaling. We do some goal setting, um, setting some intentions, but it's given me the gift to really get even more focused in my own life. So um, since last week, I, ha I got my hair cut. Since I've seen you, I've been trying to do the Miami thing. Everybody down in Miami has their hair rolled. I was trying to do it tonight. I don't know if it came out okay. You can, can let me know in the chat if you like it or not. Um, but I got my hair cut. We launched Thrive. Um, I, again, went to Miami. We had our first frigid temperatures. We're getting a lot of calls on outerwear and how to dress for this weather. Um, but for us, the beginning of January is a new year and we're so delighted to have three new programs. We also are kicking off our first 90 Days to Stellar Style on Monday. We do still have room for two 
Sarah's in the chat, two, maybe three. We can sneak a third one in, but we do have a, a room for a few more folks, and we can actually get you in in the next couple of weeks. But if you want to start Monday with the rest of the group, it is a phenomenal program. And if you do want something to make you happy, make you feel fresh, get the new year off to a good start, that is a phenomenal program. Two of the new members of our Thrive group actually are graduates from 90 Days to Stellar Style. So it's a great way to come in and meet us get a really awesome result in 90 days with Sarah at the helm. She's going to walk you through our dressing well method. She's going to make sure you get the results that you came in to get. And the silver bullet in that program is you are paired with, um, not only does Sarah run it and do an excellent job of running it, you are paired with Sarah and two other stylists, um, Jen Coletti, Kathy Smith, to really drive results for you. And then the last announcement is our third new program of the new year starts next Thursday and for those of you that are in that program we are just about to launch the membership site so you'll be getting an email from me tomorrow thank you for your patience it was very busy trying to get out of here go on a mini vacation with my hubby which is one of my goals for 2022 is to spend less time at my desk and more time enjoying my life with the people that matter to me but again it feels like I have been on warped speed since we last checked in so what I thought I would do tonight is show some of the, the seven trends that really caught my attention down in Miami. And what's kind of fun about the trends is, of course, it's like a preview for spring, summer here. It was 80 degrees there. There was no boots. There was no coat. So it was super fun for me to just kind of observe some of the trends. And, of course, I have a very nice husband. It was his birthday weekend. But the mall, the, our, our hotel, which was just beautiful, was almost connected to the, the mall down there, um, the Aventura. I think I'm saying it right. It's one of the biggest malls in the country. I think it's the second largest outside of the one in Minnesota, Mall of America. So there was just no way that I wasn't going over there. And uh, it had Bloomingdale's and Nordstrom, one of the best Nordstrom's I've ever been in. And then there was like 300, I think the website said, 300 luxury high-end brands. And man, did it was like eye candy for me. So we went over there. I'll show you a couple of the things that I bought, some of the things that caught my eye, some of the trends, what you can do in your own wardrobe to kind of tweak some things that you you have. Um, so we'll, we'll pretend that it's not nine degrees here in Boston. We'll pretend we're in 80 degree weather. And another thing that I'm super proud of uh, with this program is so many of you have said, I'm done with COVID. I want to shake the COVID cobwebs off. I can't control it anymore. It is what I what it is. I hope that these 30 minutes on Wednesday nights give you a little break from reality and give you some inspiration that's happy and um, results driven and also just logical. We like to give tips that you can do on your own that make you happy and make you smile. So as I always say, my goal is to give you Two, one, two, maybe three ideas that you can adopt for yourself. And that's also my goal tonight. So the first thing I did, of course, when I was going on my little um, Miami mini vacation is get my suitcase out. And I had a pack for the trip. We get so many questions about packing. And I do have it down to a science. And Sarah Zengo, as my, uh, she's my witness, she knows that I was working Friday night till 10 p.m. and I had a very early flight Saturday because I needed to get things done so that I could, when I go on vacation, I really go on vacation. So I wanted to take three days off, have a blast. Uh, we were with a lot of my husband's uh, colleagues and and um, and clients, so I really just wanted to um, experience his world and, and have a good time, and I did, but it all starts with the pack, and I honestly did not even pull my suitcase out until 10 o'clock. So the first thing that I did is I popped the rack up. If you haven't seen the rack, I don't have it down here right now, um, but we've been showing you the rack many episodes. Sarah can even get up in the chat if you wanna buy it. But I got the rack together, and um, I always pack from the coat. So this little Max Mara raincoat should seriously, honestly, write me a check. I didn't even want to wear it to Miami, um, but I checked the forecast. It did rain a little bit when we were there, and I needed to, my son Tim drove us, so I needed to get in the car and get to the airport. So once again, it is just the perfect thing. 
and I also wore to the airport you've seen this piece my long sleeve this is my majestic this is my favorite one but I also have one that, a Calvin Klein one that I love so that went on next and then they're in the wash but I put on a pair of black leggings and I brought my little Michael Kors sneakers, which I'm also very tired of, but they just get the job done. And the thing is, I can, when, when I get to your, when you get to your destination, I love having a little pair of sneakers that don't scream winter, you know, the white on the bottom, and you can run up and down the stairs. You don't have to worry about um, what's on your feet. So there I went. Hello, Rebecca Bentley. Rebecca Bentley, these are, these are, I'm so so funny that you just joined. I have a picture in my office of uh, the shoe. We took, I went shopping right before, I went, was with Rebecca right before the end of the war. We had such a great time. We were in Michigan and she and her really dear friend, Amy, the three of us went to the mall in Michigan and we all showed up in these shoes. So I've had them for a while and they always serve me well. So that's what I wore in the airport. And when I put the leggings on, I don't have them here because again, they're in the wash. I wear them so that I can get my whole foot covered I'll show you my foot so I, I put the leggings on and I pull them down and then I put the sneaker on so that when I go to the airport you know instead of having socks and having to take my shoes off I can just take them off and be, still protect my my foot that has been one of my strategies forever and of course the lightweight leggings really work well in many climates so when I get there I my leggings have a lot of stretch I can pull them up and wear them as cropped. So once I get off the plane, I can easily look less Boston winter. Sometimes I even put like a sleeveless shell underneath my black long sleeve uh, so that I can just take this off if it gets really hot too. So that's what I wore on the plane. And then I was only there Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And Saturday night, I had a really big night. Those of you that follow us on Insta, I, um, by the way, we are trying to grow our Instagram account. It's Dressing Well Boston. Uh, we'd love for you to come over and watch us over there, too, if you are on Insta. And our Facebook group hit 800 members this week. Our goal for 2021 was 750, so we hit that in early um, December, but I just saw, I meant to say something to you, Sarah. Good job. Sarah welcomes all of our guests and does a great job of managing that group. But we're at 800, and I'd like to go to 1,000 in the next couple months. So if you like this show, please tell your friends. I do digress, but I... I've told my my coach, I have a coach myself, that I would do a little bit more promoting of our group. So there you go. That's my, that's my message tonight. So the next thing that I did was I was having dinner Saturday night. One of my dearest friends who I met in 2020, we went through an executive coaching course together, and I only met her on Zoom. We did a mastermind together last September, October, November. We had an accountability group, and it's actually how we got going with uh, 90 Days to Stellar Style, but we were meeting for the first time. And what I did is I just said, you know what? I don't want to have a whole bunch of stuff. I just want to wear, I, I want to have some flexibility with temperature. So what I did is the next thing that went in my bag is I did bring four pairs of pants, but I do like to have things at the ready. So these are my black skinny jeans. I didn't end up wearing these. I wore everything else, but sometimes I'll wear these on the plane, but it was so early when we left and I wanted to have the leggings on for the reasons that I told you. But I brought the black pants because of one of the sweaters that I brought. So I'll show you those in a minute. So I didn't wear the black pants and I didn't wear the black sweater, but I had it just in case it was cooler and it was really raining, and then I had the, the trench coat that matched, so I, I had it covered, all right? So the next thing that I packed um, were my favorite little jeans. I love these. I've had these for a while. They've got some cuffs. They fit me really well. You know, fit is everything, plus they don't wrinkle. So then I grabbed my other favorite little top that I love, and notice the brown buckle. I swear, brown is the new black, we'll get into that in a minute, but it looks super over those pants. And then I threw this in my bag, my little gray sweatshirt. This is still wrinkled because I just, I actually just unpacked the bag for you guys about an hour ago. But this is my gray sweatshirt jacket that 
just folds in, into the bag. It's it's great if it's a little bit chilly. I, I have my headshot even taken in this jacket. It's just been something that has served me really well. So um, I did wear this uh, a couple times. It was chilly on one of the days. I'll get back to that. But what I wore to meet Laura, and it was 80 degrees even at night, is I just wore this. And then I brought this shawl because of the brown and I took this in my bag which was also brown and I wore my little brown shoes and I was ready to go so the first thing I did was and I have my brown belt which I actually have on today and I brought this bracelet I wanted to show it to you because I love gray and browns and blues right now and I brought these earrings and I also brought my silver hoops and my gold hoops, and I had a little bag. I have like a little a bag I put my jewelry in. But I packed from the rack, and I got packed in seriously, because these are my favorite things. I know they fit. I know they work. I got packed in like less than 30 minutes, and that was makeup, you know, pajamas, that kind of thing. So I did end up wearing this on um, Saturday night. And then the game came, by the way, I brought these jeans too, just because they're like the, my, my most comfortable jeans. I love these, love them. And um, I did get a mani-pedi. I got a massage on Sunday morning. So, you know, part of our message here is self-care. And what I'm learning from all of our communities and all of you is people are craving um, self-care. People are taking care of themselves or wanting to take care of themselves. So when I go on vacation, I that's when I really do a lot of my self-care. So I had these jeans on because they just felt so great, throwing these on and heading to the spa. And I just had on like a little sweatshirt that I threw in my bag. So then when the game came, I again I brought my white jeans. I had my brown belt and I had my Patriots shirt. Those of you that saw the picture that I posted of me and my husband at the game, we were totally twinning. Ha ha ha. I sent my son John um, back to Dick's because the shirt that I bought was too big. But you know the other thing I decided, like this was super fun and I'm glad I had it on. This is 100% cotton and I'm used to things that fit, have a little bit of stretch, lycra. I didn't love the feel of this on. I like something a little bit more fitted, um, but it certainly, you know, fit the bill. And then I had the brown belt that went with the brown jeans. I threw my watch on and I have my silver hoops and um, that I brought the gray jacket in my bag because it could fold up into the bag just in case I got cold. We were in a box. We were totally spoiled. Yes, Bob Kraft. I, I was on the 50-yard line, and Bob, Bob Kraft and his son were two boxes down on the 30. I, I don't understand that, but my husband, those of you that know him, he has such good karma. It is incredible. So here we were in on the 50-yard line with his good uh, client, um, down from Florida who actually used to play for the Miami Dolphins. So that was super fun hanging out with all these great guys. I, I never heard half their names, but it was really, really fun. And um, then Sarah saying, what brand are the spa jeans? I will, oh, what these? Uh, these are Gap. I'm a Gap girl, a Gap and a J Crew. The white jeans are, are J Crew, these are Gap. So the black jeans are, um, are J brand. Those are my skinny jeans. So anyway, off I went to the game, and I have my sneakers on, um, and we'll get to sneakers in a minute, but even the sneakers have a little bit of brown. And I hadn't been to a game in so long. Um, fun fact, I grew up in Foxborough, Massachusetts, and I worked at Gillette Stadium. I went to Foxborough High School, and I was actually on the dance team. Lisa Duncan, if you're still there, please don't laugh. Do not tell any of my secrets. Lisa and I went to high school together. But I was on the dance team. <laughs> which is hilarious because I never really had, I didn't have that kind of gene. I shouldn't have been on the dance team, but I was. And we actually, I was telling one of my boys today, we actually wore nylons, nylons with white sneakers and shorts. And I see Phyllis, <laughs> Phyllis Ward is out there too. Phyllis went, um, went to high school with me as well. And Phyllis, I think you were on that damn dance team. Oh my goodness. We wore nylons. I was watching the cheerleaders at the Miami game and I was like, man has the, have the times have changed. Um, but anyway, um, that was really great. And we did have to walk 
pretty far. So I was glad I had my sneakers on. I was thinking we're going to a box. Should I get more dressed up? There were two women, really beautiful young women that were super dressed up. Um, but most of the people my age and actually my new buddy who's 35, an awesome colleague of my husband's, uh, she and her son were there. Andre, who has the same birthday as me. So Andre and I really bonded. Um, but she just looked awesome. She had on a little Patriot shirt too. Uh, she had on white jeans. We looked like we were twins actually. And she had on uh, much cooler sneakers than me. We'll get to the cool sneakers in a minute. Uh, but that was uh, Sunday and that they moved the game to 4.30. That's why I was able to get all my spa time in. It's supposed to be at one. But that was pretty much the night. Now, the one thing that happened to me that I wanted to share with all of you guys, because it might come in handy for you. So we got there and they wouldn't let me in because I had this bag. And I was, they, they made me go check it and then they gave me a, so everybody was walking around with plastic backpacks. Some of them were really cool. Like I saw some really high-end designer plastic totes, but I was like, I gotta get me a plastic tote. Sarah, I know that you and I got, actually we got one last year from Tiffany. Um, Tiffany at Neiman Marcus gave Sarah and I these beautiful clear beach bags. So I'm I'm bringing that out because I we got stuck in the line. I felt so bad for this little nine-year-old boy because we, we ended up being right on time, but, you know, we wanted to get in, and I had to wait on this huge line because they wouldn't let me in. So uh, definitely check that. The, one cool, the other cool thing, and some of these are leading into my seven tips, um, but I everywhere were fanny packs. This is an old one. I am getting myself one of those designer ones. I went shopping with my husband, and there was no way I was – pulling out the credit card for a $400, $500, <laughs> um, one of these bags, that's what they cost, the designer ones, but I was with, I just saw my mother pop in, I, my mom is moving, and I was over at her house about a month ago, going through all of her bags, and I took this Eddie Bauer, I am loving it, I wore it to play pickleball with my good friend Alexander, I put the balls in it, so these fanny packs are everywhere, and a lot of the young women were wearing, I saw a lot of the girlfriends of the players, they all had on these designer bags just dripping, and then also when I was at my mom's, because we went through everything, I found this little red bag, isn't it just the cutest thing you know how I feel about red bags but I actually with the the shirt I did have this I brought this because it was red and I was going with the red white and blue theme I was actually able to get this on my belt and it looked super cool because we're all doing that half tuck now. So I got this looped into my belt and I have my phone in there, but it didn't save me from having the bigger bag. So that was actually one of my um, my seven tips that I saw was definitely the um, fanny packs are in. So that's kind of funny. I've been talking about that for a while, but that was in. And then um, when we went, so Monday we drove down to the Keys, just the two of us. We got a Jeep, took the roof off. So fun. Um... And what I wore is I had I just threw one more top in. So I had this little top. I wore it with the white jeans again. And I had my um, my sandals. So that's what I wore. And then when I got to the airport, I just swapped out. I put the I put everything back on that I came with, and off I went home. So back to the tips, and I think we're doing okay on time. The, oh, and this is the black sweater that I always take when I travel. You guys have seen this before. I got this uh, in Sarasota last year. So um, I often take this. It's got these really cool, like, I don't know, it's kind of distressed. But I can get this on with black jeans, with white jeans, and I can even get that raincoat over if, if I need. But I didn't wear it this time, but I'm glad that I took it. But I was able to pack really efficiently, which was really great because I shopped and I need to have room in my suitcase to get home. So off to the mall we went and what I decided to do, and this is what I do when I don't have a lot of time and I have a husband who's being really, really patient. The last thing he wanted to do was go to the mall in Miami, but he did. And I said, I really want to infuse some more brown in my wardrobe, which has come, um, which has really replaced black in a lot of ways. So I had these, I bought these on sale. These are Aqua from Bloomingdale's and they just look great on my foot. And of course I had, didn't have my pedicure till I got down there because I didn't have time to do it at home. But I bought Tory Birch ones that were like expensive. They're shipping them to me. I bought them at the Tory Birch store. But when I got back to the, I just kind of put these in my bag saying, oh, I might wear them. 
but when I put them on, they just looked really sharp. This style shoe, by the way, is everywhere. This woman in the hotel had a pair of Gucci ones. I just wanted to rip them right off of her feet. And I ended up going over to the Gucci store to look for them. And the guy told me that they can't even t keep them in stock. But they were they were floral and they were slides. There was this like um, pool thing at the hotel we were staying at. So you just saw all these beautiful moms with these beautiful kids walking around in these gorgeous bathing suits and um, really cool sandals. So I wanted to show you that. And then I went over to Bloomingdale's and I was on this mission to freshen up my brown shoes. And I found these. They're Kenneth Cole. They were on sale. Aren't they just the cutest thing? Sarah, these have your name written all over them. You can borrow them. Sarah and I have the same foot size. But what I love about them is they're super lightweight and they've got like the air conditioning. I call it kind of the ventilation so I can wear them you know winter with socks I can wear them as a transition so I'm really pumped about those and then the other trend that I saw everywhere so I talked about what I so I got one trend I mentioned one no two brown is the new black so I didn't see a lot of black shoes everybody had brown or floral type slides on the fanny packs were everywhere and I also saw a ton of ankle chains. Everybody had, I think they're calling them, um, well, Sarah probably knows, anklets, I think, or it's just like ankle jewelry. So I went over, so I was at Bloomingdale's, and I found these really cute shoes, and I didn't know if I was going to be able to get a pedicure. <laughs> so I'm like, I better get a closed toe. I'm going to meet my friend Laura. Not that she would care. She's such a love, but I, I, I care. And I put these on. And they were on sale, and I just think they're the coolest things. So you tie them, and they come with a gold chain. Can you guys see that? I, I got the common. They came with a gold chain and a silver chain, and they're aqua. They were like 50 bucks. I just think they're so cute. So I got those, and, and that's, and what else did I buy? That's it. I was just on a shoe mission. My husband thought I was nuts. And I was definitely looking at those fanny packs, but I didn't dare buy one in his presence. So that was... Oh, the other trend that was everywhere was um, gray outerwear. And I must say, I was ahead of trend on that. Last year, last January, when I worked out with Coach Derrett, those of you that saw that, I went over and did my first workout of the year. I bought these gray leggings and then I bought a, a light gray gym shirt. And then I have been, those of you that know that we rep Peach, it's uh, Sarah can put it up in the chat. Um, but Peach has really cool athleisure wear. And I had bought that. And um, back to the sneakers. Oh, where are my sneakers? I didn't bring them down. Oh, darn. Oh, yes, I did. These were the sneakers that I got last year that I've been I've been working out at home and I just have been wearing these to pieces. The shoe shape, I told you I'd get back to that, so that's my tip number four. And TJ, my husband's cool colleague, who I just fell in love with, um, had them on. So we have basically the same outfit on, but she had cooler shoes. You know that I'm gonna be getting those sneakers. You give me you give me a month and I'm gonna be in those sneakers. But they were definitely, I wish I picked up a pair. Um, but they definitely had more of a pointed toe. They were just really, really cool. Um, I'll get, for one of our lives, I'll, I'll get up here and show you. Um, but that was another. So I, it was gray workout wear. And a lot of the cool, there, there was so many well-dressed. I mean, it's a real fashion place, Miami. But I saw a lot of these young women that were in the spa working out. They had the gray leggings on, really high-waisted, short crop tops. A lot of them had like puffy, short puffy jackets, gray sneakers. Everything was gray. Uh, and of course, you guys that have been hanging around for a while, you know, hello, Katie Duncan, um, you know that I love a good hotel gift shop. And this one was amazing. We were at a resort. It was uh, a lot of golf. Um, so the, the, the pro shop was there. They had beautiful clothes. Uh, but I went and got a dark, whenever I can find leggings that I, that I love, these just fit really well. And when I have leggings, I have them for a long time. So, and I love that they have the pocket for the phone. So I bought those. And then the other trend that I saw over at the mall um, were these, and this is going to be a trend, big trend for spring, were these long duster sweaters. So this was in the hotel gift store. They had a lot of yoga, golf, but I, I grabbed this. Uh, and if it was chilly, I was going to wear it on Monday, but it wasn't. But I love the silhouette. So you saw a lot of short crop tops workout pants 
the ankle jewelry, um, a lot of sneakers, uh, a lot of slides, a lot of platforms too. And then the other trend that I saw that I'm definitely getting on, it's just a little too early for me right now, is the really high-waisted jeans with the full pant. One of the women that was at the game, one of the really well-dressed, beautiful, I think she was a girlfriend of one of the players, she had on um, just these jeans that I want to just go over and, and rip off of her. <laughs> Of course they wouldn't have looked that great on me but she had on like um platform shoes i think they were um you saint laurent if you if people know that brand it's kind of a unique shoe shape and she just had on these high-waisted jeans they were white they were full leg they weren't distressed she had on a really short top beautiful hair she looked amazing so that was my other was the long duster sweaters were on everybody from the models to people at the gym uh the high-waisted jeans with the short um the new sneaker shape i definitely saw the fanny packs were everywhere ankle jewelry i saw some body jewelry too so there was young women that had like um very lightweight chains kind of going across their bodies very tasteful it was, it was very very pretty um brown again this color brown just being kind of like i even today i wore this for you guys to simplify but you know the brown earrings with gray um so even when i packed i brought a black belt and a brown belt um sneakers brown shoes i didn't even bring black shoes this time but i kept the whole pack really tight and then when i had i you know i had a couple hours to shop with my poor husband in tow um i could say i'm really going to focus on brown shoes so if you're someone that i'm going to focus on a raincoat i'm going to focus on white jeans i'm going to focus on when you go on vacation sometimes you have the time to go to all those stores and compare so again i got a pair at tory birch i got a um two pairs at um bloomingdale's um so it was really fun. And I had the shoes shipped from um, Tory Burch just because I didn't, you know, I didn't know how much room I was going to have in my suitcase. Um, so that's it. I think we're right at 730. Uh, a couple other things that I just wanted to shout out was um, Betty White. Oh, my goodness. That was another thing that's happened since I saw you last. Sarah has an awesome post in our Facebook group um, that I just cannot get over. It was um, the Golden It shows the Golden Girls with the Sex in the City remake. Just look at that. When you get a minute, go over to Beyond Dressing Well in the Facebook group. You're in it now. And look at that picture. Those women, the Golden Girls, are the same age as the women that are in the Sex and the City remake. So just do that comparison. And one person wrote in the comments, it was so funny. She said, I wonder what, what, what it's going to look like, you know, 20 years from now. Dear Lord. Um, but I thought that was a fun thing to say. And the other thing when I was traveling is I got home and um, somebody sent me a Vogue subscription. So I had so much fun going through this. So that's been kind of one of my guilty pleasures. And we were talking about books last night on our on our Thrive Call, and I just finished the Katie Cork book. That was kind of like what I read while I was on vacation. It's good. We're reading it for our book club. I've met Katie. I've met her a couple times, so it was interesting to, to see her take on, on things. Um, the best part about this book was... Um, it does chron it really does bring you through the events of our time 911 um it just it's it's that that's worth reading is to revisit the time frame and, and she is certainly interesting and she's certainly had an incredible career but that was my somebody asked me what my beach read was and that was it i think that's all i have to show you guys i hope i did okay i hope i didn't go too long but that's our program next week week we are planning on a great program we're going to bring in some of our favorite coaches who are also clients so we're going to coach the coaches they are our over the years coaches have referred so much business here so we're going to take uh, bring them on and, and chat with them and again before you leave um you know, if you are interested in 90 Days to Stellar Style, we do have a couple spots open. We'd be happy to get you in. It is a wonderful way to um, kick off the new year. And, you know, we're in the business of, I firmly believe when you feel better about yourself, when you get your wardrobe under control, it's one of the first decisions you make is what am I going to wear? When you can get that part of your life together, you are, and I, and I see it with the work, the, the additional work that we're doing in the leadership space and the additional work that we're doing with communications and self-care. When you feel better, when you're, you know, one of the women in our Thrive group, she's so delighted. She had a big renovation at her, at her home. And she's like, my intention is to just 
make my home just peaceful and calm and organized. And I'm telling you, come over into that program and feel the power of organization. Feel the power of community. Feel the power of energy, communication. We had a woman in that program say to me, I started to be invisible. And for the first time in my life, I feel visible. I want to go out. I want to take risks. I want to be done with COVID and take steps to get my life back. So if that's you, call Sarah, call me. This is not a big sales call, guys. You, you, you know us. Get on the phone. We are happy to walk you through. If it's a fit, great. If it's not, that's okay, too. We have five of these scheduled this year. We're doing five cohorts this year, and um, we're just excited to get going and bring all of you along for the ride from you, the inside and the out and really have a great time in 2022. And as somebody said on my call last night, just shake those COVID cobwebs. It's still there, not going anywhere, but let's learn to navigate it and bring out our best selves. Okay, so I will see you all again next week. We love this program. You know where to find me, you know where to find Sarah. I do read all those comments. So if you have an idea for a show in 2022, please post it. I'll read it, and we'll see what we can do. Okay, have a great rest of the night. I'm going to have a birthday dinner with my husband and my son, and we're even going to have a cake. So that's it for tonight. See you again next week. See you later. Bye-bye.